Hey, do you think they can see us? Nah, it's too dark. But we can see them. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Good evening, I should say. Welcome back to the Poem of the Moment at my website, poetryguide.com. I'm Ted Shy, children's poet from Vermont. And tonight, I'm standing in front of our nation's capital, my nation's capital. You might not be American if you're watching this from another country or from outer space somewhere, but I'm very proud of my country, and you can see behind the Capitol Dome with lots of flags flying. That's where the Senate and the, and the House of Representatives meet. Pretty cool place. And I remember as a kid, in seventh grade, I came here. But I had broken my leg, and my leg was in a cast. So I was on crutches, and I walked all over Washington, D.C. on crutches. And I had, by the end of that week, the sorest armpits in the universe. So I'm going to share a poem with you for the poem of the moment, which has nothing to do with sore armpits or of Washington, D.C. But I encourage you to come to Washington, D.C. if you can sometime, or find some um, information about it on your computer. Maybe find it on a map. That's a pretty cool thing. So here's my poem. It's about my mom, who I love very much. And it's about when I was a kid, occasionally, she might not remember this, but I remember bringing her breakfast in bed. And it's called Breakfast in Bed. It goes like this. I brought my mom her breakfast while she was still in bed. Her favorite stuff was on that tray, like fruit and eggs and bread. It wasn't even Mother's Day or other celebration. I just decided I would show my thanks and admiration. I didn't slice the fruit up. That knife was way too scary. And frying scrambled eggs for me is not just hard. It's very. I didn't make her coffee. I don't know how to perk it. I couldn't turn the toaster on. I don't know how to work it. So Mom got up and came downstairs and cooked things like she wants. And soon down there, the kitchen air smelled just like restaurants. She made my favorite breakfast, too. Then we both sat and ate. By then, my appetite was huge, so I could barely wait. I'm glad I made Mom's breakfast with love she can believe in. It paid her back for all she's done. So now, at last, we're even. Can you ever be even with your mom? Not really. She does so much. And there's no reason to like be even, but I thought it'd be pretty funny to think about. So thanks for coming. Thanks for um, coming to uh, share a, uh, enjoy a poem of the moment. Come back because I have more, and my cousins love sharing. And you can maybe hear there's a helicopter in the background. I think it's the president coming in to the White House, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to say goodbye. Toodaloo, kangaroo. See you later, refrigerator. Um, see you soon, Daniel Boone. Bye-bye, French fry. I think I said that already. Wow. I think these poems of Ted Shaw's are growing on me. Yeah, I can see them growing. Kind of greenish-gray patch there on the back of your neck. <laughs>